Hi, this is Damon Green, video search engine optimization and marketing expert. Today I'm going to review tools to create YouTube video channel graphics fast. Now I want to warn you, you want to watch this entire video, it'll be short, but you're going to discover YouTube channel graphics creation, best practices and tips to make more money with them. So what are YouTube channel graphics? You have header channel graphics and bumper card graphics and thumbnail graphics. Why should you care? YouTube channel graphics offer a more professional and complete appearance to your channel. Graphics help convert better done properly, especially those thumbnail graphics. You can use YouTube channel graphics to encourage more engagement with your channel, meaning more views, more watches, more likes, more subscribes. And you save money by doing it yourself instead of outsourcing or paying a professional designer. Now, the two tools that I'm going to review today are the YouTube channel graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software versus YouTube graphics toolkit. Now this really isn't a competition. These are two different tools that do very similar things and I actually own both of them and I like both of them. However, one is a software and one is strictly templates that work with software you most likely already have. So first, we're going to review the YouTube channel graphics creator. Experience levels, newbie to advanced, easy to use, no real design experience necessary. Here are a few of the pros of the software. There are dozens of professionally designed templates. They have great support. They're easy to understand tutorials. You can import graphics or purchase additional images and template graphics as add-ons. You get professional graphics without hiring a designer. And it can be used to create other graphics such as website headers, Facebook page graphics, headers, etc. Here are some of the cons. It's software and it can only be used on the computer it's installed on. So you have to have the software on the computer you're sitting at in order to use it. The software usually needs to be updated. Any software needs to be updated and it can get corrupt. This particular piece of software is a bit touchy, a little touchier than I like. Uh, still a great tool, but it's just a, a bit touchy. And it's not a standard Windows interface and standard Windows functionality. So there's a slight learning curve and the images and templates could be organized a little better they're slightly confusing now these are deal breakers these are just some things I wanted to warn you about so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead into the demo I will create a graphic using this tool let's go ahead and dive right in so really quickly what I'll do is I'll start off with creating a YouTube thumbnail this is a great way to do easy thumbnails. As you see here, there are dozens of options here. Dozens of options that you can take and make your own. So let's say we we're going to do, let's click this one here. Double click on it. I'll give it a name, test template. Now, here we go. It's done. All I have to do is change my name. So let's say, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, edit the text. Let's see, video. Click implement. Return the text. We'll take the video title here. Now this is what I mean when it's touchy. I just tapped it and it moved. Uh, so we'll do, we'll take this here. We'll click edit. We'll domination. Secrets, implement. It's easy to change the background. We can come in here and grab, uh, let's grab this guy here. Bring him in. Let's take him, let's format it. We'll go to scale. We'll move him down right here. Return to the image menu. Let's add some extra graphics. We'll go here to YouTube graphics. We'll run in here and we'll do uh, buttons and icons. And let's take a. Let's see if there's anything here we like. Let's just take this. We're going to drag it here. Boom. Done. Two minutes. Easy to set up. Thumbnail graphic. Now this is just basic, but you see what you can do here. There are dozens of templates, very easy to use. 
now we'll go on to the YouTube graphics tool. Okay, now on to YouTube Graphics Toolkit. Um, this set of templates is uh, was created by Bertram Heath Sr. Experience level for these templates is medium to advanced. You know, you, you'll have to know a little bit about PowerPoint or some graphics or video editing software. Uh, it's easy to use, and a little bit of creativity or design experience is helpful. Here are some pros. There are hundreds of professionally designed graphic templates. It's not software, so there's no installation. It can be used on any computer with no restrictions. Uh, you can use familiar software that you already own, such as Camtasia, PowerPoint, Keynote. Those are my two favorites. I actually use PowerPoint. I'm going to demo this in PowerPoint. Photoshop, Illustrator, any software that has layering capabilities. Uh, there's also great support and trainings to show you exactly how to use these in different tools. Uh, I'm going to demo in PowerPoint. It integrates easily with, like I stated, OpenOffice, Keynote, PowerPoint, any graphic or video editing software with layers. It allows you total control and creativity, and it's 100% user friendly. As long as you know how to operate those softwares, it's easy. Now here are some cons. It takes a little getting used to. You have to flip through folders. Now this is a window, standard Windows interface because you store these templates on your computer so you want to navigate through the templates to get a feel for what's there and then it's just a matter of picking and pulling what you want bringing it in changing some content around and you're done it doesn't work with Windows Movie Maker very well because there's no layering capabilities in Windows Movie Maker and it's completely manual and not really for anyone that has no creative it's laid out simple and you'll see in the demo but uh, these are just some of the cons and again I like this. I'll show you what I'm using YouTube Graphics Toolkit for. I created an end bumper card that will actually be a part of this video that you're watching now. Now we'll move on to the demo and I'll show you exactly how to use the YouTube Graphics Toolkit. Okay, so now we're going to go through the YouTube Graphics Toolkit. And this is an end card bumper graphic that I created using the YouTube Graphics Toolkit. Uh, the goal of this is to get more engagement from visitors to my videos after they watch a video. And this will actually be tagged onto the video you're watching now at the end. So what we want to do is create another thumbnail. So we'll go through this really quickly. We're going to create a new page. We go to insert. I'm using PowerPoint here. We'll go to picture. We'll go to bonus graphics, extra thumbnails. We want to do a dentist. So let's take the dentist one. We have that in there. We're going to go back in here. Go back to uh, bonus. Yep, wrong way. YouTube graphics toolkit. We're going to go to the mix and stack. We're going to go to text. And so let's go to uh, rated the best. So we'll take rated the best, boom, that drops that in there. Let's go back here, insert picture, and we want the best in town. Best in town, rated the best, dentist, et cetera, et cetera. We'll make this a little smaller here, and then uh, click here. We're going to bring this to the front so it overlaps. Then we're just going to go in here and insert text box and the phone number. Make this bigger, bold it, boom, boom. A minute, we're done. Perfect thumbnail, works well, says what it has to say. If we wanted to, we can just bring it down to about uh, 20% to, that's what it'll look like in the search results. Legible, readable, great thumbnail. Very simple to use, and uh, I, like I said, I use both of these. Now, as promised earlier, here are a few YouTube channel graphics best practices for thumbnails. If you're using videos for lead generation, put a phone number in your thumbnail graphic. For your thumbnail graphics, for whatever you're using it for, use attention-grabbing images and colors to stand out. You want to stand out from the other thumbnails that are on the page if there are any. Now, if you use the video domination blueprint uh, that I'll explain a few slides later, you can actually get your thumbnail to be the only one to show up in the search results. 
Uh, for end card bumper graphics, you'll want to place at least one call to action on that bumper graphic. That can tell people to subscribe, tell them to visit your website, tell them to watch your other videos or playlists, or it can be telling them to call a phone number. So, and here are a few ways that you can make money with video graphics. Find local businesses with YouTube channels, offer to redo their channel graphics or do their channel graphics, and you can charge a minimum of $97 all the way up to, if not more than $497 for professional graphics. They will not take you long to do Easy Money Maker. You can start a gig on Fiverr.com, offer to do one type of graphic per gig, Easy Money Maker. Or you can offer free channel graphics as a foot in the door strategy to get local clients. So here's what you do next. Download one or both of these tools, click the links in the description below, or go to the website shown on the screen, tngraphics.com slash videographics, and download one of these tools to make creating YouTube graphics so much easier on you. As a bonus, if you download today, you'll also receive a copy of the Video Domination Blueprint, where you'll discover step-by-step -step training and resources to get your videos ranked in the search engines, which you'll use to generate massive traffic. So click the links in the description below, or go here to the website you see on the screen. Click this, and that will take you there. Thanks for watching. Discover how anyone can use video to target customers and quickly rank in the search engines. Visit VideoDominationBP.com. Again, go to VideoDominationBP.com. Check out our 100% real deal product reviews. And be sure to check out our other videos on the channel. A lot of marketing tips and helpful hints, as well as expert interviews. Subscribe to this channel for future updates.